Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I told you I am gonna mix um, at least uh, three of these piggies, the new pigments, for you to watch and see how I mix them for my bloom video um, or a bloom technique, okay? So we're gonna be mixing tail feather, which is an older piggy, and these two are new from the release. Mint chip and billabong, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start with our little cup. We have our weight um, already on the table and we're gonna zero that out. So we wanna make sure, let me just look here. Okay, so we're good. So now we're gonna take, I'm gonna start with the tail feather. Make sure you're wearing a mask. Um, I'm not wearing one because I am gonna be speaking throughout this mixing process. But wear a mask because you don't want these pigments to fly out and you're breathing that in. So I am opening the jar away from me. The particles do go into the air. I have these little stir sticks and I'm gonna add one gram of the pigment into the little jar here or container. So that's perfect, that's one gram. Now I'm gonna close this back up. Now we're gonna add 10 grams of Josonia to wet the pigment and disperse the pigment. Um, so we wanna create like a paste before we add the pouring medium. So we're gonna go ahead and get to 11. So that's the one in the cup plus 10. Okay, there we are, 11. Okay. And now we are gonna mix this in. So again, I'm doing it away from my face and I'm mixing or dispersing the pigment into the Gelsonia. And I do have a mixing video for this um, previously that I recorded. Um, you can check that out if you want more information as to how I mix my pigments. But we're getting this dispersed. It's a beautiful color, as you can see. Look how gorgeous. So we're just mixing that in. Make sure you scrape your sides. You want to get all of that in. So disperse it. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to sit that to the side, put it back on the scale. I'm going to zero it out. I'm just testing my scale. Good. Okay. And now we're going to add 25 grams of this pouring medium that I already have um, mixed in here. And this is my Bare 8300 Deep Base um, mixed with Josonia for the uh, pouring medium. So now we're gonna add 25 grams of this pouring medium. So we're gonna go ahead. There it is. So 25 grams of this medium. And we're gonna stir this in. And keep mixing it in until you have everything completely mixed in together. You're gonna see your color is gonna get a lose a little bit of this uh, uh, shine. It's gonna be a little opaque or muted. That's okay. Once you pour it down and you create your bloom, um, the color comes right back. So we're gonna go ahead, keep stirring, and take a look at that. Look how gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so this is the tail feather. Scrape your sides. Make sure you get it all in there. See? And look at your consistency. I don't go too high up because the higher you pull your stick, because of gravity, it's gonna come down. So I just want you to take a look at your consistency, okay? 
So that is tail feather. I'm gonna put that on the side and we're gonna continue with our next one, our next piggy. So now we're gonna be mixing uh, mint chip and it's gonna be the same. We're gonna open it up away from your face so the particles do not get into the air and you're breathing it in, okay? And you're gonna take, let me just double check, one gram of the powder. There it is, one gram, okay? We're gonna close this back up. We're gonna push it away. And now we are adding 10 grams of the Josonia. Okay, there. And we're gonna mix this in, nice and slow. So we can disperse the pigment powder. So we're gonna go ahead, continue scraping our sides. How beautiful. Not pretty. This is mint chip. Okay. So that looks wonderful. Okay. Now we are going to add, zero it out. I'm just testing there. Okay. Now we're going to add, again, 25 grams of the pouring medium. Five grams. Yeah, we're mixing this in. This is such a pretty color. It's like a pistachio green, kind of. Love it. Beautiful. And take a look at that. Look how beautiful. Okay. So this is my mint chip. Ready? What a gorgeous color this is. Look at that. Okay. So this one is ready. And here, there, so that, now we're moving along with our billabong, see, billabong, so we're going on with billabong, again, the same thing, um, one gram, I'm going to open it up over here. And we're going to add 10 grams of Joe Sonia. Okay. And now we're going to mix this in. Oh, such a pretty color. Another pretty color.
we're dispersing the pigment in the gelsonia. Make sure you're scraping your sides. And I'm gonna show you. It doesn't have the pouring medium added yet, but look how beautiful. It's like a, a teal turquoise or a turquoise color, kind of. Okay. All right. And now, we are going to add our 25 grams of the pouring medium. Closing that back up and we're going to continue to mix this. I know there are many videos as to how to mix these pigments. Um, this is probably one of the most common um, ways to mix for blooms. Um, I've seen Lisa Marvin mix them this way, so this works for me as well. So this is how I am mixing my pigments. They keep their shine. And you don't break them up too much with pouring medium. So take a look at this. Look how gorgeous, look how gorgeous that color is, beautiful, okay. So this is one of the star colors that I want to showcase and mint chip. So mint chip is one of the new colors. So I want to showcase this in my video and billabong. So the, this is the color, part of my color palette that I'm going to be using for a bloom. Okay, so I'll be right back with the next part of this video, which is our our bloom. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead start it. Um, get started. I'm using uh, Sherman Williams color to go, um, and this is acorn black. So I'm gonna just open this up, stir it a bit. And guys, when I do my videos, I like to clean as I go because I don't like to have a mess. Um, so I like to close my lids. I don't like paint dripping off my cans. Um, and that's just my personal preference. So if you don't like to see this, just uh, please um, fast forward the video. So there, I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. I'm going to make sure I don't have any bubbles. Oh, 
Okay, so I think I am good. Okay, now, like I said, I wanna showcase uh, two of the new piggies, but we are gonna be starting here with Latte. Okay, and look at the color. I'm gonna show you the colors as I go. So this is TLP Latte, and we are going to just pour it down right here in the center. Okay. I might come back with a little more at the top. Next, I have Nebula. Again, these are all TLP. And look at Nebula, such a beautiful color. So we're gonna go ahead with Nebula. Just like that. Next I have, and this is showcasing this new piggy, and this is Mint Chip. How gorgeous that color is. So this is a Mint Chip. Like that. And next, this is another new piggy. This is Billabong. Look how gorgeous that color is. So Billabong. Beautiful color. And last, at the top, I want to add a little bit of TLP tail feather. So just a drizzle of tail feather. Tail feather. And I'm going to go back in, like I said, with the mint chip at the top. Okay, there. So, the... Let me move these out of the way. The cell activator I am going to be using is Amsterdam Oxide Black. And you know what? I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh, Titan White by Amsterdam for my cell activator. Right in the middle here, there. Here we go. Beautiful colors. I'm gonna just let it spread out a bit. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit while it develops. Beautiful. I love the colors. I'm gonna pop this little bubble I see here. Gorgeous. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spin it. Um just to see how it turns out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you. Look how gorgeous is that? What do you guys think? How beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So there it is, guys. Thank you for joining me here at Fluid Arts by Elsa. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And tell me what you think about this. Gorgeous color combination here. Beautiful. Um, next time, I think I am going to try maybe with the black cell activator or a gold um, 
but I'll prepare that for the next video. And you can look at my edges. Look how gorgeous the color it drips down the sides. Beautiful. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.